Hi guys, um, Laura Cat here from Upside Down Cat. I just wanted to um, come back on and make some videos because I meant to do some during the year. I did a few last year in 2020 for Christmas. And um, as we know, a lot of us are still kind of isolated and stuff. And it's been a hard year. So um, uh, here I am with a slight sniffle <laughs> and just gonna share some fun stuff, hopefully. Um, some music related, some just my life. So, um, I have a Santa <laughs> mug, and, um, today I'm drinking honey chamomile, I think, um, and it's really good, so. And a not very holiday sweater, and then I wanted to show my scarf that I made, um, this is, this pattern's called Hitchhiker, and it's a pretty popular pattern, um, it has all these bumps on it, uh, 42 to be exact because the answer to life, the universe, and everything is 42, if you've read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But it's a pretty fun knit, and I've done it, I think, twice. Um, the designer's name is called, uh, her name is Martina Bim, and she's German, and she does a lot of creative patterns. And then something I didn't make, but it's awesome. I think these were my husband's grandparents. Um, crocheted candles, so we have three of these. And they just really make our holiday season cheery. So I wanted to share that. And then um, I was going to share my stocking. So my grandma made this stocking for me. And then on the back it has my year and a cool tree. And the neat thing about it is his beard's really fuzzy. And then um, she has, she gave me, since I knit, she gave me the pattern. And I even have, like, how to do everyone's name. So I did think I was going to knit them all for my family, right? But um, other things have called to me, I guess. And um, we have other stocking options. So, But this year I'm using this one because it's just, you know, childhood nostalgia, which we need sometimes. And then something I made, I think it was last year, um... It's from a kit, and I'll put um, some details in the notes below. Uh, but I bought this kit to do an advent calendar for my family. So we're about halfway through the month, and so the tree's half decorated, and then all the ornaments are down here. So, But it's really fun. Um, you can buy the kit a few different ways, where you can cut it all out yourselves, or you can buy everything pre-cut and just sew it on. And I added like sequins and some extra fun stuff. But it's been really good and my boys are young so they are really, really enjoying it this year. And even, you know, say I'm like a grandma someday, it'll be really fun. So, yeah. Um, but let me just jump in here for a minute with some news. Um, I am writing some songs. That's been really exciting. Last winter, I guess, I started writing again. So, um, I don't really have a timeline, but just expect music someday. Um, right now it's like probably two different albums, so, um, that's really exciting because I haven't done anything for, I want to say, like 10 years, so, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then last year I got a little bit more on, um, Instagram for our music collective, um, it's called Sound Ghost Musical Collective, and right now there's, I want to say like six or seven bands, um, basically made out of four people uh so you can check that out on instagram sound ghost musical collective or um we have a weebly site and basically it just has links to all our band camp music um and then so bruin um i got to sing on one of their songs that is not released yet um actually a couple songs but um that was really fun this last year to do that and um uh, oh, um, and then another band, um, we made band shirts for Dr. Watley, so, um, this isn't a shirt, obviously, but we screen printed some skulls, because that's our thing, and it was really fun, because, um, they've been doing music a long time, and, uh, to make, like, official band shirts, uh, maybe they had made, like, a few a long time ago, but it's pretty fun to 
to get something official and definitely upside down cat um that's on the list <laughs> hopefully for next year uh, making some shirts and starting more like merch stuff um while music's still being written and then um we can gear up to whenever music gets released um so i'm also gonna hopefully do my soon fall will be here covers um i basically i did 250 covers like 10 years ago and those were screen printed by hand and i've run out of them but i have a bunch of cds here so i just want to get that available back online also last year i got um soon fall will be here on spotify so that was exciting and um uh for christmas music there's also i'll put some links down below for christmas music um my cd is still on Bandcamp, the it's winter cd and um i'm just looking at my notes here um i guess i'll share something i'm borrowing which has kind of helped with the music stuff um and so my our friend Caleb let us borrow this awesome Omnicord, which I've never played around with before. So I made it a case because everything needs a case, right? And then um, so it's pretty fun, and I've it's been good. Uh, we're learning some Christmas songs right now. We might play at church, so that's been really cool to just play around. It feels very upside down, cat, of course, and I think that's why it was lent to me. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know if it'll appear on the album. I'm not sure yet, but quite possibly. So that's exciting. And, um, that's kind of, I guess, the band news that I can think of. Um, other than that, I've been doing a lot of projects this year and also just a lot of living. <laughs> um, I did some embroidery and I finished up some really long-term projects on that. Um, I'm knitting, I did some mending this year, and sewing, and I kind of switched how I'm working on stuff, um, more to, like, one thing at a time, or, like, a few things at a time, because it just got overwhelming, and with my kids, and work, and stress, and life, it's, I just realized, like, I always have so many projects, and I can't do them all, so I kind of have been doing, like, a batch of projects at a time, and then when that's done, like, trying to not start too many, I mean, if you know knitters, <laughs> We have that problem where we start a lot of projects. So, um, and I'm kind of thinking for next year, um, what I want to work on more, like merch and, um, for all the bands that are in the group. And then, um, just kind of focusing more, like, do I actually want to make <laughs> everything I think I want to make? Um, I do have quil 12 quilts planned or like partial, like quilt tops that need to be finished. So, I mean, that's going to take a long time. <laughs> But I'm excited about it. I, I really love quilts, so hopefully that will happen, too. Um, and then uh, I wanted to share our Christmas print this year. Um, I, I did it yesterday, and I was like, I'm not going to do it this year. It's too too overwhelming. But I just I had sketched something out this weekend and um, did a two-color reductive block print. Um, which I have another video specifically about printmaking and how it relates to my life and Upside Down Cat. So, um, yeah, I printed the white first and then the blue on top. And it's kind of like a metallic-y white, but you can't really tell. But, so it actually looks more gray because it's on black paper. But I didn't buy paper, so I just used what I had. So, um, I think it turned out pretty good. It's fun. The weird thing is it doesn't have animals on it, which is really rare. <laughs> For my prints and then I also borrowed that same snowflake that's in its winter and a couple other block prints just because I don't know it's fun to reuse stuff and then here's what the block looks like at the end um, it is all carved away so I can't actually reprint it now you know the same it's just that blue that blue color so anyway I really had fun printing it and I did, I've done one printmaking workshop, and I would love to do that again, teach people how to do it, because it's really um, not difficult, and I think it would be fun if more people knew how to do it. So, um, and, oh, this is just a little sketch for it. Super fun. I also wanted to show something from college that I found in my mom's basement. Um, I've been clearing out the basement. <laughs> 
of my stuff, trying to get my stuff out of their house. So this is a teacup and a tea bag that I knitted out of wire because I'm crazy. And there, I guess that's tea inside and then there's a little tag for the tea. And then a spoon. And then a cup. So it was just kind of fun, and I actually found the sketch that went with it, which, I mean, I just kind of save everything, and I'm always amazed, but it's it's nice, like, um, I don't know, just to see thoughts behind, like, creating projects and stuff, and I have other stuff, but I'm not going <laughs> to probably show it today, at least, um, and then I just wanted to share a book I'm reading right now, um, it's called A Weary World by Kathy Escobar, and um, it's basically for those of us who um, have trouble during the Christmas season just because, you know, we're supposed to be rejoicing and everything, but it is a hard world, and um, it's easy to um, have depression or just, you know, be, like, sad. Um, like, not everything's holly and jolly. Things are actually kind of hard. And especially these last two years, I feel like um, we can all kind of relate to that a bit. So, it's good. I'm One of the main things that's helped, or a concept in it, is um, the idea of paradox, which is um, holding two things in the same space at the same time. So, being joyful and having sorrow at the same time, or having peace and there's also some anxiety, um, that type of thing. She goes way more into it. Um, it's written in like a devotional style, kind of for Advent. And it's written around the Christmas story, because that's what Christmas is about. Um, but I feel like it's very um, reachable to a lot of people, probably. So that's a book I've been reading. And I think I'm kind of getting to the end of my little list here. Um, also this year... Um, I read two stories about people who just, you know, had, had a hard time. Um, one I've read a lot, um, The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. She's in a concentration camp, um, for World War Two, <laughs> And so, um, for hiding Jews and stuff. So, um, that one, it's a really powerful story. And then, um, the story of Johnny Erickson Tata, I read, or I listened to it on audiobook. And then I listened to, like, a different version of it, more dramatized kind of version. Um, but just hearing how people's lives can, I don't know, they can just be amazing still, even though um, a lot of pain and hardship happen. And sometimes they're asking um, God to do something and, you know, years later realize their prayers were answered, but in a totally different way. So, it's just inspiring because, um, like I said, it's been hard, a couple hard years, and, you know, I don't know if you have that feeling or if it's just me, but just feeling kind of stuck or, like, what are we going to do or when is it going to be normal again? Um, so, just reading stories like that are helpful to me, and, um, yeah. So, anyway, um, stay tuned for next year, and... <laughs> I'm hoping to do a couple other videos, but it's just hard with the kids to get a lot of time. Um, and I haven't done a lot of music yet, so I don't really have music stuff to share. But, uh, yeah, I hope so soon. So take care of yourselves, and have a good Christmas, and Happy New Year. Bye.